I don't know what it is. Sometimes life just gives me a splitting headache. I can't seem to put my finger on why my head is hurting tonight. Maybe it's just thinking about all the Halloween and it's Halloween overload. Hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Tonight, spooky adventure. It's always way more spooky when you do Halloween hunts at night. Brings us to roses. I'm going to say this probably numerous times throughout the video, but just so you know, if you're not familiar with roses, back in the 80s and the 90s, they were a big deal. They were kind of like Kmart and Walmart and Target. But now they're basically reduced to being like a Big Lots and an Ollie's. And there's not many of these around. Used to be a huge retail chain. Not anymore. But they are known to have Halloween merchandise still. If you live out west, they're kind of like a pick and save, I guess. Kind of like a pick and save used to be. But I guess they were only bigger. I don't know. But you'll kind of see. They kind of still have a, a retail presence in the south. They're just not as big as they once were. But anyway, we're going to go inside and see what Halloween they have on the shelves. So join me, if you dare. One, two, spooky five. The Roses logo has never changed through the years. It's always looked the same, but they used to sell TVs and everything, and they were definitely competitive with Walmart and Kmart back in the day. But now, not anymore. See, that's twice I've already mentioned it. Let's go inside. I have searched the star system to find the best prices on things I enjoy. They are at Roses. Big TVs are at Roses. Little TVs are too. All these VCRs, Roses has complete stereo systems and components, and all kinds of radios, including boomboxes. My favorite. Roses should open in my home galaxy. Their prices are light years behind our stores. Roses, the best place for the best price. Okay, so there is a little bit of Halloween merchandise here at Roses. We have this. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is a fantastic knockoff. Pennywise Halloween costume and look at the price $2.99 that is amazing then we've got this kind of reaper skull over here also for $2.99 we've got a little witch's hat for $2.99 roses definitely brings back memories for me because for those of you that don't know what roses is is back in the 80s roses basically was like a Target a Walmart and a Kmart they were a big deal they were very competitive with all of the other big retail chains. Here's a mouse makeup set. Look at that, 99 cents. You can still find something for 99 cents in 2024. Here's like a superhero makeup kit. Also 99 cents. And it looks like back here we've got a mermaid makeup kit. And then look at this one, makeup set for children. Boy, that looks old-fashioned. I bet if I flip this around and found a date on this, I guarantee you it would probably say from the early 2000s. And I am not even finding a date. What do you think? Do you think the 22901? I know it says lot number beside it. Oh, here we go. Just found the date. 2018. So yeah, it's at least six years old and look at how old school that looks it's not put out by rubies it's put out by forum novelties and we've got this pirate sword here also no price on that i would assume it's probably about like a, a dollar oh here's a headband you can have the hatchet going through your head and then back here we've got a few halloween costumes here's like a princess costume for $7.99 and then here we've got a nurse $7.99 funny business clown also for $7.99 surgeon scrubs oh wow here's here's one for you Daniel Bryan from WWE for those of you that watch wrestling obviously now he wrestles in AEW as Bryan Danielson look at that mask that is terrifying that's pure nightmare fuel, but that shows you how old this is. And his shirt there says, respect the beard. 
He hasn't wrestled for WWE in like four years, I believe. Oh, there's the mask. So yeah, that's definitely old, and that's a size medium. $7.99 if you want to be Brian Danielson. Or Daniel Bryan, rather. Here's a chainsaw. $2.99 for this toy chainsaw here. Not a terrible buy for that. I've also got a few mugs here. And why am I still holding this princess gown? I was just holding it to get it out of the way, but I was still actively holding it. Here's a mug with skeleton hands on it, $2.99. And here's this skull mug also for $2.99. Then check this out, $0.39 cents for these trick-or-treat buckets. Basically look like knockoff McBoo buckets. Here's the standard orange one back here. Also $0.39 cents, as well as the green one. Yeah, all the color schemes on all three of these are basically representing the boo buckets. That Pennywise mask for $2.99 is tripping me out. That's a, a great likeness of Pennywise for $2.99. Then we've got some of these glittery little spiders down here. Buck twenty-five for those. You get it in orange, black, and green. Then these are very vintage looking. Check out these little jack-o-lantern pails here again you could use these easily to make blow molds out of 2.99 for that size 99 cent for the smaller one and i believe this is also the 2.99 one yeah that's the 2.99 one so they come in two different sizes so not a bad buy at all dollar 25 you get this little yard stake tombstone a whole lot better quality and the styrofoam ones, I see. Two different designs there. And we've got a few more buckets over here. These are the bigger buckets. These are a buck ninety-nine, so I guess they're trying to push these. That actually looks like that could have come from a fast food restaurant. Maybe Wendy's. Maybe that's Wendy riding right there on the broom. All of these are buck ninety-nine. We've got all of these little monsters here also. But then, looks like they're also getting in on the Michaels trend. $1.99 will get you a stack of colorful pastel Halloween blocks. And we've got these long signs here too. Let's get spooky. $1.25 for that. Trick or treat. $1.25 for that. Then here's a standard Happy Halloween. Also for $1.25. We've got these signs here also. $2.50 on those, and you can see they can hang on the wall. And we've got this sign here, Trick or Treat, Perfectly Wicked, Spooky Greetings, Black Cat Crossing, Rip Road, Haunting House, Hello Pumpkin, and Pick Your Poison. This one, this nice sign, is only going for $1.50, and it's a pretty decent size. And here's the Boo Boulevard and Cemetery Circle and Trick or Treat and Spooky and Haunted Highway, and we've got a few of these longer signs also, going for $1.99. Then just some standard spider webs there. Big tinsel orange and black spider up here for $1.99. Halloween wreath here for $3.99. And then these hanging signs here, Happy Halloween, going for $2.79, odd price for that one. And we've got Welcome Witches. And then we've got this larger sign here. It's got glitter on it, so I've got to be careful. It says Trick or Treat. And that is going for, go down there, $4.99 for that. And there's also one that says Happy Halloween. So I've got a few of these, what I call front porch signs. Here's a Welcome one with the Wicked Witch flying over the haunted house. Oh, but look at this. There's also, if I dig back here, the Wizard of Oz. That's the Scarecrow. You can be the Scarecrow. And that is put out by Ruby's. $7.99 for the Wizard of Oz. It's like it's all mainly the Scarecrow. 
There's a few more costumes back here too, like there's the pirate and another pirate. And Brian Danielson is it's funny to see. So what do you think? Should I try on the bootleg Pennywise mask? Why not, right? $2.99 will get you a bootleg Pennywise mask. This is probably what it would look like if it came off the TV, right? So let's see. We all float down here on the Black Hearts Club. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Then of course, here's these scarecrow people that I was talking about, hanging around here at Roses. And then there's an abundance of fall stuff also. So check your roses if you're lucky enough to have one in your area because they definitely have Halloween and fall merchandise available. Those are seat covers there. They're unique. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video at Roses. Again, if you're not familiar with Roses, it's kind of like a Target, a Walmart, and that's how it was back in the day. Now it's more like a Big Lots or an Ollie's, stuff like that. But back in the day, it definitely was a huge retail chain, but no longer. But anyway, I wish I could just get rid of this headache. But anyway, Halloween will make me feel better, I'm sure. But anyway, if you're new here, how about slashing that subscribe button? Slashing. It feels familiar. Something feels familiar. Slashing. Oh, yeah. I had a splitting headache. But anyway, if you're new here, how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club? And until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.